Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and in this video I'm going to talk about coefficient of relationship and I want to give you such a problem. Imagine family as follows. So he is female, he is a male and this couple has a child and this child is married to another female and they also have child. It can be a girl or a boy. And now imagine another um, relationship connection here and here we also have another child. So try to find coefficient of relationship of uh, say individual A and B. And you may stop video here and try to solve this problem on your own first. But uh, meanwhile, I will show you how to solve such problems using different examples and then I will return to this example. So this time we have also another couple and this couple has two children. The sex of the children here doesn't uh, matter and uh, it can be two boys or two girls or boy and girl. Once again what is the coefficient of relationship of individual A and B. We can say that both these children have the same parents. So 50% of the genome they got from mother's side and another 50% of the genome they got from the father's side. And this is true for each child. So uh, each child uh, has 50% of the genome of the mother and 50% of the genome of the father. And children related to their uh, parents by 50%. And in this case, because this is not um, genetically identical twins, this uh, brother and sister also would be genetically related to each other by 50%. And our calculations would be as follows. Individual A uh, got 50% or 0.5 from genetic makeup from the mother side. Individual B also got 0.5 or 50% of the genetic makeup from the mother side. And if we multiply these two numbers, we can say that individual A and B uh, share about 25% of the genetic makeup inherited from the mother side. And once again, individual A also got 0.5 or 50% of the genetic makeup from the father side. Individual B also got 0.5 or 50% of the genetic makeup from the father side. And once again, we can expect that about um, 25% of the genetic makeup that these two individuals inherited from the father side they are going to share. And as you see if we add these two numbers we are going to get 0.5 or 50%. So both individual A and B would share about 50% of the genetic makeup. Now let's take a look at the different situation where um, once again we would have um, a family this time imagine that um, he is a female, he is a male and he is one connection and he is another connection. So probably this male uh, married 
first one woman, then another woman, and in each marriage this male had a child. Once again, uh, sex of the children is not important, so uh, how these two children would be related to each other. And in this case, as you see, they would be related only through their father. So they would share 50% of the genetic makeup that they uh, got from their father. And these two children wouldn't uh, share any of the genetic makeup of their mothers because they have uh, different unrelated, uh, genetically unrelated mothers. So we can say that individual A, so individual A and individual B uh, are going to get 0 0.5 or 50 percent of the genetic makeup uh, from their father and individual B also going to get 50 percent of uh, genetic makeup from the father side. So we can say that individual A and B would share about 25% uh, uh, of their genetic makeup. So coefficient of relationship between these uh, two individuals would be um, 0 0.25 or 25%. And in this example of the family with two children, we can say that coefficient of relationship between individual A and B would be uh, 0.5 or 50 percent. And now let's take a look at our first example. So uh, we see that uh, individual A and B related uh, through the uh, in the first example uh, through the uh, grandfather and individual B through his father. So this individual would be grandfather of individual A and would be a father of individual B. So uh, basically mm, this individual would be a common ancestor and individual A would share uh, 0 0.25 percent so 50 percent would inherit from his father and his father would also inherit 50 percent from his father so individual A uh, would have uh, about 0 0.25 percent of the grandfather and individual B would inherit 50 percent from Father, so 0 0.5, and once again we have to multiply these two probabilities, and we can say that these two individuals would share about uh, 0 0.125 or 12.5 percent uh, of the genetic makeup would be the same between these two individuals that they got from their common ancestor. And once again, individual A and B have uh, the same mother and from the mother individual A is going to get 0.5% or 0.50% of uh, its own genetic makeup and uh, 0. 5 or 50 percent individual B also going to inherit from the mother side. So we can say that uh, individual A and B would share about 0 0.25 or 25 percent of their genetic makeup inherited from the mother side and 12.5 uh, percent they would have uh, through their common ancestor, which is going to be grandfather of individual A and father of individual B. And once again, we have to 
uh, add these two uh, probabilities and we are going to get uh, 0.375 or uh, 37.5% of the uh, common genes or we can say that uh, coefficient of relationship between individual a and b so coefficient of uh, relationship of individual a and b equal to 0 0.375 or 37.5 percent both answers are correct answers but this answer is given uh, on the scale between 0 and 1 and this answer is given on the scale between 0 and 100 percent and this is all for today thank you for your attention please subscribe for my new videos that i post almost every day thumbs up if you like this video please write your comments questions if you have any share this video with your classmates and see you in the next video goodbye